everybody, welcome back. I'm Heidi, in case you are new here. Uh, today we're gonna make a fall snack board. No decorating, we're gonna make a fall snack board. Maybe you've heard it being called a fall grazing board. And I did make one last year, possibly the year before that, I'll link those. And they're a lot of fun, many options. Um, we're gonna start off by making a cheese ball, but it's a pumpkin shaped cheese ball. Um, pretty easy, a little bit messy, but no big deal. And let me show you um, some of the ingredients that are involved with that. And I'm also gonna to try to have you save some money by using some of the snacks you may have um, on hand at your own home. ingredients are two eight ounces, 16 ounces in total, of cream cheese. You're going to need two cups of shredded cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you want, a packet of ranch seasoning. You're going to need the stem of a pepper. Okay. Um, whoopsie daisy. We're going to get more ingredients from my cupboard, but I've got some Ritz-like crackers. I've got, you've seen these before on my, I think the kitchen, kitchen decorating video. Um, Maple leaf cookies. I just love the, that they're in the shape of a leaf. I don't like that they have the writing on them, but whatever. Uh, they did have some cheaper that I saw, but they were smaller and um, a good few less ounces. And so you get more for the money with this one. So I said, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna shape it into a pumpkin. Um, I'm also gonna need, I don't have out right now, I'm surprised I forgot, is the rubber bands. And you need some plastic wrap, okay? Basically you're shaping it into the pumpkin. Uh, shape and uh, you put it in the fridge. It's really really cute and just just a great little entertaining uh, Kind of a board to do so let's check out my snack snack cupboard and see what else we can add So like I said so far, we really just have crackers and cookies. Okay, so let me take you over All right, so what do we have I've already got Oh my husband ate whoops a lot of the pretzels. So I can't put pretzels. I was hoping to put pretzels out but I do see pistachios. Okay, we'll use those. I see some uh, like, uh, it's called, I think they're blue nacho chips. Um, I could use those for a little variety. And I'm gonna bring these out. Oh, wait a minute. So I have one kind of crack. Yeah, let's bring these out. That'll be two kinds of crackers. And I think really that's all I'm seeing that we can use. All right. All right, everybody, let's get started making our cheese ball. So first of all, you're bringing the cream cheese to room temp, and then I used a hand mixer, okay? Mixed it till it was kind of creamy, right? So now we're gonna add in a cup of the shredded cheese, okay? I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of the ranch powder mix. I almost wonder if one is enough, but I'll do two. Um, the diced pepper, I'll be honest with you. I am not, I don't know why I didn't get red or yellow. I happened to just grab the green, um, probably because it was cheaper and I'm not really feeling the green pepper. Me and Frank really don't like green peppers too much. So anyway, we got the ranch dressing. Now, also what I'm gonna do is add in Worcestershire sauce. I didn't have any. I could have sworn I had some. So you can substitute, look it up. And actually, I'll be linking the recipe. I'll put it in there. It was a half a tea, no, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. A half a tablespoon of soy sauce, white vinegar, and ketchup. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually stir that in, make sure it all kind of gets in there. But I will link the recipe. All right, so now I'm gonna stir all this like this. And like I said, this makes just a great little um, thing to have if you're having people over or bring, you know, you can bring it to somebody's house. We're gonna make sure we mix that in good. Okay. After I mix this in a little bit more, just to make sure everything's all Okay, we're gonna get a piece of plastic wrap. Let me move this out of the way. And on that plastic wrap, I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup of the shredded cheddar. This is always fun spreading this out, huh? 
There we go. Okay, so let's get that quarter of a cup spread out. Okay. We're going to put the mixture onto that. Okay, we're going to wrap it into a I'll wrap it, shape it into a ball. And once, you know, once I wrap it a little more, I'll make it more into a little ball and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna take the rest of the cheese. Spread that out. Kinda messy, guys. I'm gonna plop this, oopsie daisy, there we go, just so I can form it a little bit better, okay? So let's kind of bring this up here. Just gotta wrap it tightly. I think I may even put one other piece down. And just, it's bothering me, I want this to be a little more Shaped than it is. You guys get the idea though, right? There we go. See, now you can shape it a little bit better. Then we have our rubber bands. Put one across. Actually, what works better is probably the bigger rubber bands. over here in the corner because they would leave more of a um, indentation, you know, but that's okay. I used these the last time. They worked fine. Let's go this way. Whoopsie daisy. And one across. There we go. Remember, do not Throw out your stem. So actually, look at all the cheese I probably could have used, but that's okay, I've got plenty on there. So look at, that's gonna make a nice little size, right? And this will make the indentations in the pumpkin. It's gonna be so cute. We'll put that in the fridge and then we'll be back. All right, we have taken our cheese ball out, our pumpkin cheese ball. I got a little excited. It's actually a little bit early, but it's fine. And we're gonna cut these rubber bands off. All right, all right, so let's put this in. I'm just gotta push it in just a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna cut more of this off, I think. I can stick it a little bit better. There we go. Cute. All right. So I think I could have kept it in a little bit longer. Uh-oh, this just fell off. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what can we put on here? Let's do some grapes. Now this is a smaller version, keep in mind. You And the, the options are just unbelievable, right? Um, obviously we've got some crackers. It's a little messy, so you just gotta kind of clear it up a little bit. Some crackers. Let's do different kinds of crackers on this side. Just trying not to bring a lot of the broken ones out, right? That doesn't look nice. Hmm. Stick these. I love these little leaf cookies. They're not the greatest for you, but although the box claims they're pretty healthy, but they're not really that great. Some pistachios here. So you guys know you would fill it in Let's break these up by doing this over here. Some of these crackers and make it look kind of full. Actually, I think carrots would be pretty good. Helpful hint here is I keep my carrots in a container, cover them with water, and they stay quite a long time. There we go. 
get a few more grapes. Maybe a few more pistachios over there, right? Maybe. And, you know, this is what I had around the house. So save yourself some money. I wish I had the pretzels. I would have stuck some pretzels there. But, you know, save yourself some money. See what you have hanging around the house. All right, let me bring you closer. Not too bad. And like I said, this is just a small example of what you can have. You may want to, you know, fill in every single space. So we just have crackers. We've got the nacho chips, cookies, carrots. Um, this really should have a little more cheese on it. And you probably could if you had some extra, like add it in, you know what I mean? Um, to cover it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, not too, too bad. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by today. Like I said, it didn't come out perfect, but it came out cute enough to give you an idea. And this is just a small version um, of what you can put on this board. I just wanted to give you a little idea and it came together pretty quick. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon.